A neighborhood crime alert this evening. Many people are asking who would steal from children. Thieves hitting a popular Jacksonville ballpark. We do a lot more stuff than just baseball. You know, we, we try to raise kids, you know, and help out the community that way also. Volunteers for the nonprofit Arlington Little League say thieves stole tens of thousands of dollars worth of equipment and then gutted the electrical system at their sports complex, shutting down fall baseball for hundreds of kids. Yeah, the park on Fort Caroline Road has been part of the community since 1963. News for Jack's reporter Vic Michelucci shows us the damage and the plan to once again play ball. <laughs> this is one of Arlington Little League's proudest traditions, the Challengers baseball games, where players take on students with special needs. Everyone's a winner. But lately, there's been no activity here, no cheers, no smiles. Baseball has been canceled. They came in here and took all that. Coach Jason Rolston tells us thieves tore this park apart on Halloween weekend, stripping the electricity, stealing expensive copper wire, lawn equipment, baseball supplies, and cleats. They stole from the community, you know? I mean, we're, we're like one of the only privately owned baseball parks left in Jacksonville. There's no surveillance because someone, possibly the crooks, knocked power out weeks earlier. Now, the cost to repair and replace is in the ballpark of sixty to $70,000. These thieves stole a lot of metal and equipment. It's heavy, so they likely used a truck or an SUV. We can see where they came in. They busted through the lock on that back gate. They drove across the baseball diamond and then got up here to the main part of the property. That's where they cut the fence about seven feet high and 10 feet wide and then drove in so that they could load up their vehicle with everything that they were going to steal. They tossed the garbage aside and used trash cans to take everything they wanted. We'll do our best to take care of it. and We will take care of it. I promise you that. But it's going to take some time and effort. The Arlington Lions Club, which owns the complex and leases it to the Little League for $1, will have to pay for the repairs. What's your message to whoever would do this, to literally steal from children? It's disgusting. It's a shame to have uh, this happen in a community where the people need this, this type of facility for their, for their own families. It's all for the kids, giving them something positive to do. And those who make it happen are determined to bring back this field of dreams for the spring. I'm Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, the local station.